In this video, we will learn how to predict binary ionic compounds based on where certain elements are located on the periodic table. Ionic compounds, as the name implies, are neutral compounds made up of ions, one metal cation and one non-metal anion. Depending on their location in the periodic table, some metals and nonmetals always make the same ions, and they will be the topic of this video. Elements in group 1 of the periodic table, also called alkali metals, always make cations with a positive 1 charge. Similarly, elements in group 2 of the periodic table, also called alkaline earth metals, always make cations with a positive 2 charge. What ion does potassium make? That's right, since potassium is an alkali metal, here in group 1 of the periodic table, it always makes a cation with a positive 1 charge. Let's try another one. What ion does barium make? Exactly. Barium is an alkaline earth metal, so it belongs to group 2 of the periodic table. That means it will always make a cation with a positive 2 charge. Let's move on to the nonmetals. Elements in group 17 of the periodic table, also called halogens, always make anions with a negative 1 charge. Elements in group 16 usually make anions with a negative 2 charge but that's only true of the nonmetals at the top of the group. What ion does fluorine make? Exactly. Since fluorine is a halogen, part of group 17 of the periodic table, it will always make an anion with a negative 1 charge. Let's try another one. What ion does sulfur make? That's right. Sulfur is a nonmetal in group 16 of the periodic table, and so it will make an anion with a negative 2 charge. Now that we know how to predict different ions, let's move on to seeing how they make ionic compounds. As we saw in a previous video, ionic compounds are always neutral, which means they'll have no net charge. That means that the sum of the positive charges of the cation and negative charges of the anion must be equal to zero. Let's explore an example of that. Suppose we want to predict the ionic compound made from magnesium and chlorine. Magnesium belongs to group 2 of the periodic table which means it always makes a cation with a positive 2 charge. Chlorine belongs to group 17, so it makes an anion with a negative 1 charge. How many of each ion will we need to make a neutral ionic compound? We need two chloride ions, each with a negative 1 charge, to balance out the positive 2 charge of the magnesium. Therefore, our ionic compound would have one magnesium and two chlorines, magnesium chloride. What is the ionic compound made from calcium an alkaline earth metal, and oxygen, an element in group 16 of the periodic table. Since calcium is an alkaline earth metal, it makes a cation with a positive 2 charge. Oxygen is a member of group 16, so it makes an anion with a negative 2 charge. Notice that these two charges cancel each other out. Therefore, the ionic compound will have one calcium and one oxygen, calcium oxide. Let's do one last example. What is the ionic compound made from sodium, an alkali metal, and sulfur, found in group 16 of the periodic table? Sodium is in group 1 of the periodic table, so it makes a cation with a positive 1 charge. Sulfur is in group 16, so it makes an anion with a negative 2 charge. That means we need two sodium cations to balance out the charge of the sulfur anion. Therefore, our ionic compound has two sodiums and one sulfur, sodium sulfide, 